So it is now my pleasure to welcome to the stage the co-chairs of the Empire State Pride Agenda Foundation Board, Lewis Bradbury and Marla Hassner. Good evening. Thank you so much for being here this evening, and a special thank you to Laura Linney and Alan Cumming, our fabulous hosts for the evening. If you're in the ballroom tonight, I know you care deeply about equality and justice for lesbian, gay, and bisexual New Yorkers. So I want to talk to you very briefly about why we can't achieve equality and justice based on sexual orientation until we also have equality and justice based on gender identity and expression. If we advocate ferociously for the L, G, and B, we need to advocate just as fiercely to add the T, transgender, to legally protected groups in this state. We need the support of everyone in this room as we fight to pass the Gender Expression Non-Discrimination Act. You know, when our young people are bullied and harassed at school and called horrible homophobic names, they're usually not being bullied because of their sexual orientation, despite the name calling. They're being bullied because they aren't conforming to the gender expression assigned by society based on their biological sex. They're an effeminate acting boy or an athletic short-haired girl. When members of our community are harassed at work or on the street, they're usually assumed to be gay or lesbian based solely on how they look, their gender expression, and not because of any behavior that would confirm their sexual orientation. Often when people ask me why the T is part of LGBT, I use these examples and more. There are countless reasons to stand up and speak out for our transgender brothers and sisters, who, by the way, were at the forefront of the Stonewall Rebellion. We simply cannot achieve equality and justice for lesbian, gay, and bisexual people without equality and justice regardless of gender identity and expression. We look forward to working together with all of you to achieve the vision of equality and justice for all LGBT and T New Yorkers and our families.